Best with opting out of normal. Today I want to show you something that I'm putting together to uh, make better use of my solar power. Everybody talks about having a solar system that they can have their batteries recharged by noon or one o'clock in good sun. Well, I want to give you guys all a way that you can make better use of that. Once your batteries are full, why not use it to help power some of the things in your coach? The switch that I'm going to show you today is going to allow you to designate a percentage that you will have your battery bank reach and then transfer your refrigerator back to electric automatically. I have a Norcold 18 cubic foot double door freezer refrigerator. Normally it runs off of propane when we're brewing docking. Most propane refrigerators have an automatic transfer switch that will switch over to propane when the 120 volt circuit is no longer available. What this DIY switch is going to allow you to do is keep your refrigerator in the automatic selection position and turn on and off your refrigerator electricity I'll take you over to the table and we'll talk about all the different components that you're going to need in order to build this automatic switch. So what you're going to need for this project, you're going to need both a male and female extension cord end. You will need a, at least a, uh, it's a low voltage controlled 120 volt uh, AC control relay, PTRH1A125. T4X. I'm going to go ahead and include a link to the uh, to the purchase off Amazon so that you'll be able to, to pick these up. Um, they came for me. My purchase came in pairs. You're going to need the the various terminals. The red is going to be for low voltage. The blue connectors are going to be for your 120 volt hotline. You'll need some inline splices. I have two of them. This is what's going to give us our low voltage control. Uh, we're going to tap into the back of the refrigerator. You have the spade terminals, which are going to go into the splices, the inline splices. You're going to need a single gang outlet box uh, with a water resistant enclosure lid to it along with two waterproof connections that will screw into the ends of the power box. The wire is going to be three conductor 14 gauge wire similar to an extension cord. For our control circuit wire we're going to use double strand solid core thermostat wire. The tools you may need for the job good pair of side cutters, a pair of strippers of your choice, small pair of needle nose pliers, a good razor knife, and a screwdriver, Phillips or flathead, depending on your plugs. Now I found it easiest if I were to run the wire through one of the water resistant connections first, feed that end through the box, pull the wire through, and then put the watertight connection on the wire on the other end. And then feed the wire in a little bit extra so that you had a loop when you were done. You then want to remove the outer insulation cover from the cable to expose the three conductors inside. You're only going to make one connection to these three conductors. Uh, you're going to basically split the hot wire or the black lead. Go ahead and cut the black wire in half applying the terminals on each end. Once you have those terminals connected you can then go ahead and put the plug ends onto the main ends of that cable. Now once you have the cable ends on you'll want to feed your brown thermostat wire in and then make the final connections to your relay. You'll have your black terminals or your hot leads going to the normally open 
connections on the relay terminal. And then when you're in your thermostat wire comes in, you'll go ahead and put the terminal ends on that and then feed one end into each of the control circuit terminals on the relay. Now once you have everything assembled, you go out and remove the bottom vent cover from the back of your propane refrigerator. Go ahead and unplug your refrigerator from the outlet behind the refrigerator and plug in your new control box and then plug your refrigerator into the control box. The wiring connecting to that black box in the middle of the picture just below the, white, the yellow sticker is a metered 12.8 volts coming out of that connection. Utilizing the two inline splices that I have I was able to tap into those wires to provide a 12 volt and a ground source for my control circuit. I did this by removing the outer insulation from the thermostat wire and taking the red conductor I went in and split that. The short end I ran for the positive connection going to the relay control. The, uh, the, the other end I used as a continuation of the ground running all the way to my Victron meter. I then stripped the ends of the thermostat wire and put one end into each of the normally open and co common connections on the back of the Victron meter. For settings of the relay, if you go into the control panel on the Victron Connect, you'll see that first of all my low state of charge relay is set at 80 percent for the alarm and then 85 percent to disalarm. I then have the invert relay selection uh, selected so that it'll actually reverse the the contacts and what this allows me to do is that when my batteries get to 85 percent the Victron meter will then connect the ground side of my contactor for my refrigerator control and it'll then allow power to turn on going to the outlet for the refrigerator. Now by setting up your Victron meter like this you're also going to notice that your time remaining is going to be based on that 80% mark that you have that control relay being set to. The final step is then to be able to go into your refrigerator and transfer it over to the automatic selection on the refrigerator itself. Now for those of you that need a wiring diagram, here's a basic quick wiring diagram of, of how everything's wired up. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Uh, if you guys have any questions, if, uh, if any comments, go ahead and leave them below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to be notified when new videos are up, go ahead and ring the bell. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you appreciate this video. Uh, until next time, live simply, give more, expect less.